Hello, my name's Christine, and this is my Sinatra project for the Flatiron School. Um, my project is about um, the user being able to save the types of teas that they've um, found, that they've discovered, um, and just to learn more about teas that they like. So in a sense, it's more like a, a bookkeeping or, or a record of different types of tea they've tried that way um, the next time they find it or they actually want to um, give it a taste again that they have a record of what they did to make that perfect cup of tea. So let me show you an existing explorer that I created. So this is just a quick walkthrough. So in this point I have an existing tea. Tea lover is the username, how fitting. Um, Again, on the user page, they're able to um, sign up if they aren't signed up yet or go back to the main page where they can view um, the sign up page. So here we're going to access Tea Lovers um, Tea Crate. Zoom in around that. So this is Tea Lovers or users um, home page. From here, they can view their Tea Crate or Brew Timer, which I figured if I were to ever make this um, a fully functional app um, that I want to put out in the world, that this is something I want to make. But um, in the meantime, I just left that just for fun. So here we also have history of tea, art of tea, and customs and etiquette and different resources. So it's just something um, to build out to make the app look like it's fully functioning at the moment. So here we have the tea crate, and this is our tea. So Tea Lover has the, these seven teas in their tea cup. And what happened is that they can add a new tea if they like. So let's see. Let's create a new tea. I have some teas here that I already uh, saved on. And I would like to use organic 100% double green matcha tea. So, organic. Well, I've already saved some of these, so I thought it would be really neat just to save time. The reason why the tea types are already in existence is because I've already created a couple of teas that had these types of teas, um, tea types. Um, just so you know, if you're not aware, tea has a variety of tea types. So you can have black, green, white, tisane. Tisane is like an over or um, an umbrella term for rubios or, or herbal teas. Yeah, per oolong, and there's just so many more. And a tea doesn't exactly have to just be a black tea. It can be a combination of green and white and so forth. So in this case, um, the organic tea is, um, I'm going to check my green because it's already in existence. Um, it's from China, Japan. Let's see, it's a tea bag, caffeine. I'm just going to say none for now for pairings. Pairings means like um, they can add milk or cream or lemon and whatnot. So in this case, for this example, I'm just going to say one tea bag, 12 ounce cup of tea. Um, let's just say 180 degrees on time would be three minutes. Um, I already saved some of these, so um, we'll say smooth and grassy. And done. So a user can um, input information from the brand's instructions, I guess you can say. Um, if the brand tells you, oh, use this amount of tea bags, water at this temperature and whatnot, this is something where user can input. Um, in the future, I would like to be able to add on different um, options where user can record different types of brew time that they've done. That way they can know what their perfect cup of tea was. So in any case, this is just a uh, the beginning steps. So we'll add the new tea. And here we go. The new tea has been added. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it's the organic 100% double green matcha. And these are the attributes. And if you notice, we forgot to enter matcha into our types. Um, but our form, let me see, let me see our form again. As you can see, the tea has been added to our list. 
the teal. The list only had green listed out as our types. In the beginning, we should have entered matcha here to create a new type, but um, we have the edit option. So here I'm going to say edit this tea. Takes us back to our tea if pre filled the name, the brand, and check mark the, the type that we already created. And here I am going to say let's create a new type that goes along with green. All that is, stays the same. And I'm going to say tea bag again, caffeine, and um, fill this part out again. Um, this is an option that I'm thinking about. Um, being able to pre-fill out, but just for the sake of this walkthrough, I'll just show you how it works. Here we go, matcha is added to the types. And let's see, if we ever wanted to delete this T, we can say delete. And it's not listed on our um, to create anymore. If we take a look at our form, matcha still remains, so it's still a part of our type as it wasn't truly affected by the T. So that's an option that um, we understand works. So if we ever were to delete a type of T and we wanted to keep its type, then it will remain. And um, so let me show you how to create a new type. So let's just say we had a chai tea. Let's say it's from Twinnings. It's not listed here at all. So let's just say we'll create a new tea. Let's say it's from India. Let's say it's a loose leaf, has caffeine. Pairings, let's say milk and cream. Again, uh, one teaspoon. Let's say um, 10 ounce cup temperature and minutes for brewing let's say creamy creamy and strong and um, let's just say strong so we have a new tea that's created we created a new type so let's check out our tea it is here. Make sure everything's showing up. Perfect. So I'll go back to our tea and check out the form again. And chai is in existence. Fantastic. So that's pretty much how my app operates. Um, this is a pretty interesting experience, um, especially having to uh, create a tea, being able to edit it, being able to show it. Um, the other complex um, thing we've done for this is that with a user, if a new, a secondary user or a new user is uh, creates an account that they can only add, edit, and delete their own teams. So let me show you what I've done. So let's say log out. And let's create a new T, uh, excuse me, new user. So let's just call him red. Red at email, let me see his password's red. So we're gonna sign up. So yeah, welcome Red. Let's check out his tea crate. His tea crate is empty, but let's create a new tea. So let's just say we save time. Let's do teas that we've already added. So we're gonna green and matcha. And as you can see, the types are already included here uh, because the very first user we created, uh, we were able to create the type. So again, it's a reminder that because those T's and those T types are already created, our form is already updated. And here we go. Let's just say, let's fill this out again. Say none, T bag, Medium, tasting notes, smooth and grassy, and caffeine. Great, let's see all our teas. Fantastic. 
So that is our user's T. And so let's be able to edit. Let's see if we can edit this T for the user. And let's remain with green and matcha. This is correct. Let's say it's actually a tea bag. Let's say it's caffeine free just for the sake of editing for fun. Let's say one tea bag, 12 ounce. Say 170 versus peanuts. Flash message. Tea has been updated. Green tea still is the same. Tea bag, caffeine free. Updates. Let's check out our teas. It still remains, and here we go. Everything looks great. So that's pretty much my app. And um, let me explain how my routes work. So I'm going to log out. And I'm going to stick with Tea Lover since that's the first user I created. And I just wanted to show a couple things. And let's see, open up my controllers. So let's say we add another T. So here we have the new, the uh, add a new T form, and this is how we go about saving our um, information. Um, but first, let's choose a different type of T. So we can just get the details, just for fun. Okay, let's go back to our app. Sunrise tea from Coffee Bean. Okay. Its type is, let's see, it doesn't necessarily say its type. So I am just, it's herbal. So let's just click herbal here. There we go. Origin South Africa. Let's say it's a tea bag. Let's see. Milk and cream. One tea bag. 12 ounces. 70. Minutes. Tasting notes. Vanilla and citrus. Comments, let's say strong. So before I click add new tea, this is what's happening. So I'm clicking on an existing tea type, which would be here. And I'm not creating a new tea type. So this is our logic. So the params. Thing. We do not create a T type name, but we're selecting from a type, an existing type, then our logic would be to save the params. So, before, let's do that. Before we save it, I am going to show you the binding pry. See how that goes. So, I'm going to click add new T. Now we hit the binding part here. So right now I'm gonna check our user, who is our current user, which is T Lover, and params. So these are all the details that we've added to our T. Our T has its T name, African Sunrise T, its brand, 
coffee bean and tea. Origin, South Africa, the leaves, tea bag, caffeine with caffeine, brew time as well, tasting notes in the comments. And here we have the type. So the type itself is a nested hash. So here we have the type ID is four. So we have one, uh, one, two, three, four. So we've selected the type ID of four. So type ID is not nil, just hence we have the thing. The type name, however, is blank because we're not creating a new type. So here we have this particular method. And it's asking me, is it blank? Yes. So this is true and this is true. And this is why our T type IDs has been updated to this particular ID. So I am going to click quit to get out of my pry. Take that out. And here we have to see it has been updated. Ta -da. So we're gonna see all our T's. And here we go. The T has been added. So I'm gonna click log out. And exit out of here. And just for my project, I am going to show you how the database will look. We have the schema, the T types, the T's, all the attributes, the types, the type name, and our users information. Um, that's pretty much for my app. Uh, thank you for watching and maybe I'll put this out there in the world one day. <laughs> thank you. Bye.